Okay, so got this part right here. Goes there. And we just need to put a socket in that. Okay, so basically what we're trying to do is take one of these and mount it in there. So that you get something like this. And I've seen videos where they'll just basically stick a bunch of hot glue in there. And I don't like that idea at all. Um, hot glue has its uses. Uh, attaching light sockets to plumbing shouldn't be one of those. So, I found a little better way. Uh, at least I like it. And we got this. First of all, let's talk about the socket. So, I bought these on Amazon. This uh, Daikuno, Dikuno, whatever. That is a C9E12 base. Uh, later, I bought a different brand, different package. It's a little cheaper. And I got these, which are very similar, but slightly different. If you look really close, I don't know if you'll pick this up on the video, there's this rim around the top that's, uh, well, it's kind of an octagonal design. And this metal part here is a lot I guess stiffer, sturdier, more robust than this one, which, yeah, normally I guess that would be a good thing. It's it's kind of built maybe a little more solid, but for what I'm about to do here, not so great. This just has a nice, smooth, round, and a little weaker metal part. So, the first thing we're going to do is take some electrical tape. This will be important in a minute. Just take that electrical tape, wrap that right around your socket. And the only real purpose of this, I got my scissors here, is because this socket is actually two halves. And once I do what I'm about to do, those halves won't be so well attached. So, um, this is where it's really handy to have a not so sturdy metal part because I can just take a pair of pliers and this normally doesn't take much effort. Bend that back like so. And down. Bend it again. Oh, and that came right off. So, we want to get that out of the way. There's a reason we want to get that out of the way. And it has to do with the whole thing sitting inside here properly. Or at least what I'm going to call proper. So, you get that metal thing. Um, without this threaded close nipple, that'll sit fairly nice, but once that's in there, this is just going to go up and up and up and up until it's sticking way out of there. So, that's why we got rid of that part. Also, we're going to get rid of this rivet, and yeah, you don't necessarily need to even get rid of this rivet, but Without that other metal part, it's kind of just loose in there. So, um, as I said, uh, these are good. These other ones, really hard to work with. You can make them work. In fact, I made this one. Better to stick with the dick, you know. 
and that's what we're going to do here. So, step one was to rip off that metal piece. Step two, take a screwdriver under that rivet and just pry that up enough to where that's sticking out and yank that away. So, that's where it's really good to have that electrical tape holding this together. Otherwise, without that electrical tape, you wind up with this. And, well, you can see that's kind of a pain in the ass, but you can hopefully put those back together carefully. But that little wire goes in the bottom. And this one goes up on the side. Not sure if you can see that. And carefully put that yeah, let's not fuck with that. Um Just make sure you put that electrical tape on first. So, the second part that we need here, garden hose washers, which they actually had some nice black garden hose washers at Menards that were perfect. Uh, it's just that they didn't sell them by themselves. All those garden hose washers at Menards were stuck into, well, garden hoses and garden hose accessories. This I got on Amazon is X00284L7QX Garden Hose Washers Rubber 30 Pack Made in China which are not actually perfect but we can make them work. I really wish I could have just got those garden hose washers from Menards. Those were friggin' great. And you'll need your scissors. You'll see there's four tabs. You can just cut the four tabs. Okay, so once I've trimmed that down a bit, I'll put it with the concentric circles facing outward. Right about there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And pop that in. Mash that rubber piece down in there. Until you think you've got it fairly solid. Don't worry too much about getting the socket perfectly straight just yet. A little bit more. And a little more all the way around. And let me see if that's good. Yep. That is surprisingly solid in there if for some reason you screwed something up you can just pop that right back out by pushing something in through the back a lot easier than you can pulling it from the front which is good and let's just get that in there again much nicer than rubber cement in my opinion. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And if it's a little bit crooked in there, you can always wiggle it around until it's not. You won't exactly be able to tell how crooked it is until you get one of these bulbs in. But that 
looks pretty decent. Give it a little bit of adjustment. And the nice thing about that is if you need to take things apart later, repair anything, fix, change, whatever, you don't have a lot of stupid hot glue stuck in there to mess around with. So, first thing you're going to want to do with these, um, you maybe can tell there's four little tabs on the side, or outside. And those kind of get in the way, make things not great. Let's just cut each one of those off. You don't have to be real perfect with this. We're going to try it just like that. Um, I usually do it with the, there's one side that's smooth, one side that has these ridged circles on it, and I usually put the circles on the outside. I couldn't tell you how much difference that makes, just personal preference. And put that about halfway down, or just before where the metal piece used to be. Take this, and you'll notice I got that close nipple threaded piece here already in because that's going to change the bottom diameter and determine where the bottom of this thing is going to sit because it won't fit through that and can kind of cram that in I got big thumbnails but also you can use flat bladed screwdriver just stuff that down in there push the socket so it's on the bottom and if you're having trouble you might also use your scissors to trim down that rubber washer a little bit more and we can change the angle of that to get it straight um, which you can't really tell just how straight it is until you stuff a light bulb in there which you can always kind of wiggle that a back and forth later um, that's no big deal That holds fairly well. If you yank on it really hard, it will come out. But I dare say the same is true of hot glue. The nice thing about this, if you do screw something up, need to change something, pull it back out later, well, you can always take a pen, just jam it, I'm using a screwdriver, just jam it in through the back and it pops right out and you can redo the whole thing if need be. But it holds it secure enough that unless you're attacking the thing, it's not really going to go anywhere. It's going to be fine. And that's pretty much the whole deal for the thrusters anyway. Um, hopefully going to put some links to the products below. You know, it's only two things. Well, unless you count this and that, but... Anyway, there she goes. And reasonably secure. Good enough.